guys, it's Melanie. Welcome to Friday Favorites and Flops. I hope you all had a really good week. I had a pretty good week myself. It was decently productive in terms of trying to get things done around the house <laughs> I was hoping to get done. Um, you know, usual like derailments here and there. Not everything got done that I wanted to, but I'm working on a lot of like spring cleaning type projects and that is a little bit more time consuming than I initially thought it would be. Um, but got to get it done, right? <laughs> so I'm going to power through and hopefully in the next couple weeks I can get all the things done that I would like to. Okay, so we're going to jump right into Friday Favorites and Flops. I have a flop this week that I'm going to share with you at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to start with my like home fragrance pick. Um, and it actually, this time around, it is the new Scentsy Scent of the Month. And this was actually the Scent of the Month for February, I believe. Um, it's the Pear Blossom and Cucumber. This is phenomenal. I mentioned this in my Scentsy video yesterday which were my spring picks for Scentsy and oh man god this smells good I am going to do an in-depth review of this guy still where I talk a little bit more about like the overall strength and how long it has been lasting me and my favorite place to use it and that kind of stuff so I will do an in-depth review of this one coming up here probably next week sometime um but it's lovely it's really really lovely so um if you like beautiful floral scents, this is a really great one. Okay, um, another kind of random thing. I did a video about the Lunette Menstrual Cup on Wednesday, and I just have to thank you guys for the response in that video because it was phenomenal. I was a little bit hesitant to upload that video only because the topic is a little bit strange. I mean, m most women don't talk about their periods like openly <laughs> or all that much so um you know but I just felt like it was so important to share the information because these menstrual cups are really not as advertised as like the tampons and pads are like y you can see tampon commercials on tv like you know every other commercial break but I've never seen a commercial for the menstrual cups that are out there. And there's hundreds of different kinds of menstrual cups. Um, I happen to really like the Lunette. If you missed that video, I will link it down below. I am going to do a follow-up next week sometime with all of like the questions that I got in my um, comments section. But I'm also going to address some of the questions that I see in other videos where people like... Are just like oh my god how does that work like does this happen what do you do in this situation like because I feel like there's probably some people out there who maybe are not comfortable asking questions and there's certainly a lot of things that I didn't discuss in that video just in the interest of keeping it like at a decent time frame for a video so I'll, I'll do a follow-up next week but if you missed my initial review of it I will link it down below for you because this really was like a life-changing investment for me and I I'm actually kind of excited about my period now because basically I don't really have to think about it anymore <laughs> with this thing. So it's amazing. Okay. This whole week I have gone back to using my Sarah McNamara Miracle Skin Transformer. Those of you that have been with me for a while know that this is like a holy grail product for me. And I have sort of um, put it away because I've been using mostly the Paula's Choice Resist Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense, which is an SPF of 30. I switched over to this last summer because it had a higher SPF, and I thought that would be better for summertime, and then I just kept using it. This is actually my second container of it, and I'm going to be, probably have about another month of use left in this, and then I already have a backup. I'll share a haul with you guys coming up here soon, but the Miracle Skin Transformer, I still love this product. I really, truly do. Um, this is a little bit different because this helps to hide my pores so much better than any other primer does. Um, it is a very silicone-based type of primer. It's not slippery or overly slick, but you will notice that there is silicone in this product. It just glides across my skin. It fills in pores. It keeps my oil in check. I do blot like halfway throughout the day. Um, but I do with most products. Like it's just a normal part of my day to like do that around three, four in the afternoon. And um, all I do is use like a tissue and I just blot up the excess oil and then it's good to go. It doesn't like lift up or anything. I use the color light and um, I just, I love this. 
I know this isn't quite as easy to find anymore. Um, it's available at Nordstrom. I'll link it down below for you. Um, you used to be able to get it at Ulta. I don't know that Ulta still carries it. I'll see if I can find it at Ulta because I do like that you can use, you know, like earn points there. Nordstrom and if it's available at Ulta, I'll link it down below, but such a great product. It just makes my skin look so smooth. When I get a lot of compliments on like Instagram pictures on my skin, it's usually that I'm wearing this. It fills in my pores to the point where my skin looks so flawless. This doesn't make me break out. I mean, if you are sensitive to a lot of silicones, I would maybe not try this, but if you have tried other silicone primers and your skin does great with them, this is a really beautiful one to try. They do have different colors. Like I said, I'm in the color light. Love it. Another product that, um, and I'm going to show this in my haul as well, but I placed an order at Paula's Choice because I was running low on a couple of things and that stresses me out when I run low on my skincare because you guys know my love for Paula's Choice. But they have this new Resist Flawless Finish Powder and I have the color Fair Light. Now this is a little bit more pink than I would like for it to be, but um, it's a pretty good match. I'm wearing it right now. This is a beautiful powder. This just glides across my skin, provides a little bit of extra coverage, but most of all, it just keeps my skin looking fresher longer. It's not drying, it doesn't look cakey or powdery. Um, it is meant for aging skin, it's part of their resist line. So, um, you know, it doesn't like settle into like pores or fine lines or anything like that. It just glides across the skin and makes your skin look pretty. So. I really like this. This is brand new from Paula's Choice. Packaging is nice. It does come with a brush at the bottom here. I wouldn't use this, but you can if you want. <laughs> Be great for touch-ups. Um, when I run out of this, I'll definitely reorder it, and I may grab two because it's pretty inexpensive. I want to say it's like $15. Um, this is something that I would totally put in my purse for like touch-ups, so that's amazing. And the last makeup item I want to mention is the palette that I've been using this week. So I have, um, for basically this entire week, used the original Naked palette from Urban Decay. Um, this is obviously the very first one that they came out with, and I still think it's one of the best. The quality of all of these shadows is just absolutely perfect. I've been doing my like perfect neutral eye. Um, on Monday of this week, I shared with you guys my perfect neutral eye for a couple of eyeshadow singles that I had in my collection that I hadn't used in quite some time. And um, there were a lot of people that said that they would like to see more of those videos, but it wasn't like an overly watched video of mine. So I think what I'm going to do is probably maybe like every other week or like every third week um, feature like a neutral eye look with whatever I happen to have in my beauty basket at the time. Um, I also got some requests for different types of like palettes and stuff that people would like to see neutral eye looks with so I've taken that into consideration as well and um, you know I'll make sure to pull those um, palettes over the next few weeks to be able to do those looks for you guys. But my favorite from this palette is using a mix of Naked and Buck in the crease um, and then putting Virgin or Sin on the lid. That's like my favorite neutral eye look from this particular palette. Just really, really pretty. The quality of these shadows is outstanding. Again, I think the original is probably my favorite out of all of them. Like if I'm really sitting there looking at them, these are pretty great. I've had this for so long. <laughs> I really do need to pull it out more often. It's, it's a beautiful palette. Okay, one more thing I wanna mention. This week I've gone back to, I go back and forth on like different types of creams that I use for my eczema. And I know eczema and psoriasis is something that some of you are dealing with as well. And the Era Organics Complete, um, I buy this off of Amazon. This has been really, really great for my eczema. It'll flare up when I get a little bit stressed or if I, um, you know, if I didn't put in enough rinse cycles when I put my clothes through the laundry, sometimes if there's like detergent left over in my clothes, that can irritate my eczema as well. And I do use a um, fragrance-free laundry detergent, but you know, if you just don't rinse enough of that soap out of there, that can cause my eczema to flare up as well. But the Era Organics Complete um, Cream 
is great for my eczema. It calms it down immediately. It's very soothing. It's very rich, very creamy, and it just feels good on the eczema. It just takes away any itchiness, any dryness, any redness. This is a wonderful cream. It doesn't doesn't have any kind of fragrance really. It just smells very like plain. Um, I don't know. That might be a turn off to some people because it's not fragrance. But honestly, if you are someone who suffers from eczema or psoriasis, you know you're not supposed to use fragranced products on those areas anyway. So, but this has aloe vera and manuka honey in it, and it just is really moisturizing and soothing, and it doesn't have any steroids in it. So, um, that's kind of nice. Like, um, I know that the steroid creams, like over time, if you use too many of them, they can thin your skin out eventually. So I try to be careful not to use, um, like hydrocortisone creams and stuff too frequently. So, but this one is really, really nice, very soothing. And my flop for the week is actually, it's not my Clarisonic. You guys know I love my Clarisonic, but it's the new brush head that I'm trying. And this is the, I believe it's called the Radiance brush head. Okay, this is just a flop for me. Um, this might be a huge hit for some of you who have really sensitive, really delicate skin. I actually find this to be softer and more gentle than the sensitive brush head from Clarisonic. It is that soft and that gentle. And that's the reason that I don't like it. <laughs> I usually use the deep pour. And unfortunately, um, this just doesn't give me that like thorough, more aggressive like cleaning that the deep pour does. So the Radiance brush head really was a flop for me. I'm going to continue to use it until I need to replace it in July. I lost the box and I honestly don't remember whether I bought it at Ulta or Sephora. And so I'm not going to return it because <laughs> I can't. I don't have the receipt. I don't have the box. So um, I'm just going to use it, but I will never purchase this one for myself again. I'm going to stick with the deep pour because that's honestly my favorite. I do recommend buying the authentic Clarisonic brush heads. I know that they're a lot more expensive than a lot of the um, like dupes that are out there. I have tried some of those dupe brushes. I've bought some off of Amazon. I've bought some off of Groupon. They're fake. They don't work as well. And honestly, they're a lot more like scratchy and rough on your skin than like a, a Clarisonic brush head. So I'm one of those people that has just come to like use and continue to repurchase the real deal because I think it's actually better for my skin and I'm, I think it's also better for the life of my brush. I do notice when I use those like generic brush heads that my battery life isn't quite as long and that like I don't want to use like ruin my Clarisonic just because I'm being cheap and not and try to save like a few bucks. <laughs> it's really the savings isn't that much if you are lessening the life on your Clarisonic. I guess that's my thought process there. But anyway, the Radiance brush head for me, but if you have really delicate, sensitive skin, um, and you find that the sensitive brush is even too aggressive for you, try this Radiance one because it is, it is soft, like so soft, way too soft for me. But anyway, I hope you guys have a really great weekend. Um, I have to go and start on my cleaning projects again to hopefully get some more stuff done. Um, I will see you guys next week. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.